Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's MBR and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. I've been talking about playing this game for quite some time. Uh, the reasons why, it's a great indie title. If you haven't seen or heard, it has overwhelming reviews, overwhelming Steam reviews right now, over a thousand, a thousand of them, and they're all overwhelmingly positive. So, so positive you can barely handle it. And uh, another reason why I wanted to play this was because it takes place in Washington, the Puget Sound area, as it says right there in the journal. And if you don't know a little bit about me, I am in fact a Washingtonian as well myself. So I'm going to connect with this girl and uh, see what happens. Is my my hand broken to the point where I can't open? There we go. A lot of this there we go. Makes sense to you. I know how to use my hands. Oh. I'm just going to start at the beginning. Okay. With the house. So it's about a house where your family lived and it's kind of weird, I guess, and mysterious and stuff like that. Uh, this is where they filmed Twilight, by the way, just to let you know. And my authentication, if you can't tell, is that I'm, I'm a Washingtonian. Sure is the fact that I'm wearing my plaid right now. I wasn't allowed right to play half the rooms. Okay. So she lived there until she was 11 and wasn't use, able to use half the rooms. That's a cool mailbox. That's really intricate. What do we have inside? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Uh oh. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Uh, you got some uh, some financial troubles, I guess, to the point where. Uh, am I? Do I have, wait, did I have knit gauntlets? I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Very strange. Okay, so her brother's dead. And if you press escape, you actually see a family tree. So, Lewis. Where's Lewis? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so he was. Wow. He was uh, 30? No. Yes. Yes. 30. Uh, no. 20. It was 20. Math. 22. Great. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what oh. I unlocked. There it is. Yeah, I have knit gauntlets. Maybe Interesting. she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The fact that I'm seeing 3D rendered text in the forest is a sign that I'm under the influence of something, I believe. I believe! This kind of reminds me a lot of uh, Through the Woods already. Just the, the look of it, the feel of it. That was in Norway, though. No one had driven this way in a long oh. time, but I saw a few have prints. Okay. That's a centaur. We're in a mystical forest. Getcha. Gotcha. I think that this game, this game is going to, oh, hey, oh, oh, it's beautiful. Don't spook it. No, it's okay. Don't, don't run. Okay. There it goes. All right. That's awesome. I've actually done that before where I've gotten so close to a, it was a deer though. It was a doe. Um, I got the so close is, to one that I could almost reach out and touch it uh, house, when I was hiking in I Rainier. Thought I'd come back to it. You don't want to mess with the but wildlife, though. You don't. You want to leave them alone. Only the house know the answers to. Okay. I'm stoked about this game. I've seen some screenshots of it, and the it looks house is exactly like I remembered it. Very interesting. About it. This is a crazy house. This is like Hello Neighbor Alpha Five. Look at that. I'm not. Su I'm surprised there's not like a train going around it right now. That's insane. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. It looks like a death now, trap, to be honest. As a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. Okay. I was afraid of the house. Yeah, I would be too. It looks like it's gonna fall apart at any moment right now. Oh, fertilizer. Okay, so we're a bomb-making family with an architecture that. Uh, I hope the key might only a madman would live inside of. It didn't. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, what could I do there? Mailbox slot? Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Okay. So there's no one living here right now then? Just a random house? Like, this is this is good property. The value of this has probably skyrocketed ever since uh, Google and Microsoft has, have moved. Oh, Microsoft already, has already been there here plenty long. But Milton Finch is missing. Okay. What's over here? Oh. I asked Edie oh. Lewis about the dragon in the pond. What she the said heck? it had killed her husband. Okay. So we're a bomb making dragon slaying family. Uh interesting. Interesting lore. Great. It's I'm assuming that this game is gonna be narrated the whole time by Edith. Is that a lightning flash over there? What the heck? Uh, it, it already, like, the feel of the game, like I said before, reminds me of Through the Woods, but it also kind of reminds me of Life is Strange. 
which I I've, I've played through the first episode or a little bit through part of it, the first part. Cause there's nothing down here. Okay, I'm gonna make our way somewhere else. I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going. There's no like markers of any kind. I'm assuming that there's an alternate. Sick. Oh, it seemed like an odd joke to me even then. There's an alternate way inside of the house, most likely. And I'm wondering why there's a missing finch. That's going to be a mystery that's going to be revealed to us, maybe. Let's see here. There's no way I can go that way. Okay. And that's the way I came, right? Or is that a different way? It looks like a different way. I came down. So maybe I have to go around the house and there's like a back entrance to this place? I don't know. we got to find the mysteries of the finch house. The woods around the house oh. have always been uncomfortably silent. Okay. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Interesting. I think the trees talk to you. Now I'm for sure under the influence of something. I'm not sure what. Let's see here. Uh, is that a figure? No, that's a flower. Okay. I was almost spooked by a flower, guys. <laughs> They're going to take me. They're going to take me underground. They're going to tangle their roots around me and pull me underneath. This is definitely the way I'm supposed to go, though, I think. There's. Why are we littering these papers all over the place? That makes no sense to me. You gotta leave no trace. You gotta make sure you leave the place behind better than you found it. That's number one rule of hiking and just nature in general, I guess. Okay. So that, uh, that was just a roundabout. Oh, well maybe there's a way around the house just by walking around the house, possibly. Maybe that, that's more of a, a doable thing, I think, instead of trying to look through the forest for a magical portal or some something, I don't know. Can I break that open? Oh. Small enough to go through the dog door, I guess. Probably we had a dog. Used to be a lot easier Lore. When I was Background 11. story. Okay. So that's how you always got inside then, I guess? Interesting move. What is the point of that? It's like a tether ball, but small form. It's very For interesting. The first time in years. 2010. Okay. I felt like I was home. Wow. There is a lot of stuff here still. Was instead I instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Memories and just hordes of stuff. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. Yeah. So we had Chinese a lot. I would imagine this place looks creepy as hell. I would not or how after go to this Lewis place. Started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. That is except a lot. Molly. I actually just ate some salmon Nothing just now. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. Okay. There was just too much of it. Can I like unlock a the door? smile with too nope. many teeth. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never Whoa. stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. What the heck is this? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Okay, this house is really creepy now. This house is really creepy. And it's like glued shut or something like that? Or or foam? The, the, the welding foam? I don't know what it's called. That is really creepy. This place is, oh, we had a grandma that lived here or something? One of those Stairmasters? This is crazy. And those are real photos of people. I wonder if those are the actual finches or if it's like a linked to an actual story of some kind. I didn't really see anything about that. Oh, Bar Barbara. Okay, Barbara Finch. Can I turn it? Oh, there we go. Very interesting controls. It's probably actually better if I used a controller. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. Hmm. Along with the rest of the house. Oh, Mom this is a key. always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised oh, when the mind. key didn't fit. Wow, Even there's... the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. I can't almost sank. talk very often just because there's so much story that's that's going on right now. Speed run time, guys. <laughs> Speed run of what remains of Edith Finch. I think the that this game... is still oh. a wreck from the night we left. Okay. It was like a bomb had gone off. Killing everyone but sparing the furniture. So we left very suddenly? And this grandma's chair again, or grandpa's, whichever one. What is this one My about? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Great grandma Edie, okay. Oh, little space boy. Look at that. This is a beautiful spot. It's beautiful, but scary and eerie, you know? Uh, as most things are, I guess, in Washington, in the mystical forest of dragon lore land. Let's try to find out if there's a, there's got to be another key to make our way into the uh, into the basement. I wonder if there's anything specifically in here that I need to find first. The power had been turned off the night we left. 
Hmm. I want to know. I already want to know what happened to my family. It seems like everybody left all of a sudden and possibly uh, a lot of people died. But the fact that there's a lot of people dead and buried inside of the library is something that would make me personally not want to stay here at all. The fact that there'd be dead people inside of my house. Yeah, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. I mean, if it's cremation and whatnot, and then whatever, that's not the same. But if it's just straight up bodies, yeah, hell no. Why is there a gust right there? The heck? That's interesting. So just a wind gust? Uh, usually when there's a wind gust near a wall, that usually means that there's a secret door somewhere, which I don't think that that is the case this time. Okay. I can't open that door. Let's see here. There's something upstairs probably that I need to get. We have a lot of books just everywhere. After Milton disappeared. We were hoarders Mom pretty much. up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Okay. The text is interesting in this game. Why are all the doors glued shut? Can I... So this person was 11? Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. What the heck? Everybody's dead. This person didn't even last 10 years. What the As heck? Kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. What the heck happened here? Was it... Were we... So, I mean, this isn't going to be like some sort of cultish game or something like that, right? Um, oh, I couldn't see those ones. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, huh. I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. So she was like 50. No, I don't... I don't need that anymore. Thank you very much. And he was really old. Wow. It was like 93? Is that what it is? Dang. It's a long life. This is really creepy, though. The fact that there's so many, like, just... Oh, I don't like that. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, God. This isn't a horror game, though, right? Nine years old. What Molly the hell? Molly like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Why are there so many kids that died? What I is spent going... a lot of okay. time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. This is so weird. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Okay, so I got a uh, key to a book to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Classic. It's a classic book. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. Okay. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. This is like a murder castle or something, guys. I don't know how else to explain it, but this is just weird. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. I know it's supposed this, to be like beautiful and cute, it like I had a plan. but I'm legitimately like creeped no out of this place right now. Door. Okay. All right, what's over here? Better not be a dead body. I, I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Molly. Okay. Got a drawer I we can open. Looking at Molly's room through the people. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bed. She just with <laughs> own even tiny cut herself up. Cage. Off. Up. Both probably. I don't know. Maybe that's why she's wearing a. Knit gauntlets. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. It's crazy. It's crazy creepy. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. What? It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. <sighs> I woke up and I was So now we're playing as Molly. So I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil oh, gerbil food. Oh my god, okay. Okay. As long as it wasn't the, uh, the dribble itself. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Okay, Mom. Will do. I kept eating Just gonna eat eating. random stuff. Toothpaste. Yeah, that's the, the most important food group. You need a, your daily I dose of vitamin. Of no, those are poisonous. And I died. That's how she died. That's how it happens. She just ate poisonous berries. Toothpaste and poisonous berries causes a noxious mixture then inside I of your stomach. Chirping outside my window. Okay. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out okay. her. Let's eat her. Let's just do it. And suddenly. What's going on? I was a cat. 
Okay. <laughs> I guess those those berries really messed you up, girl, huh? Can I jump? Oh, there we go. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really speed scared. run, guys. <laughs> speed run. I, I'm trying to catch that bird. I need to eat, guys. I'm a hungry little little bird or little cat. You know what I mean, cat girl. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Oh, they are very still. Are those mannequins? That's that's really creepy. This game, <laughs> I know it's supposed to be cute and beautiful, but it's actually quite creepy to me. It's very, very strange, guys. Where is the freaking bird? I need something to eat. Ah! Come on. Just let me eat you, dude. I'm so hungry. My mom left me, uh... Let me go to bed without eating dinner first. Okay. I don't think we're gonna catch that bird. I could tell she was getting really tired. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I was up in the big tree. Let's get it. I promised that I wouldn't find it anymore. Let's get it. Anymore. Yeah, those, those berries must have messed me up, you guys. I gobbled her up. Ah, yeah! And suddenly, I was an owl. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I thought you were gonna die as a cat. What the I heck? Little teeth nibbling in the grass. Now I gotta swoop down for it? Little teeth nibbling in the grass. Where is it? I don't see it. Where are ya? Where are you, little thing? This is cool, though. It reminds me of, um... Oh, rabbits. Found them. Hiya. Gonna get ya. You're mine. Gotcha. <laughs> what the heck? This is awesome. Just chomping away. <laughs> the fact that it's a girl telling the story of hunting down animals and eating them it's kind of creepy to me. Uh, I was going to say, though, it's like you're an Animorph, if anybody remembers that back in the 90s. Great stuff. Is there more rabbits I need to bite? Hmm? Any more of those wascally wabbits? Come out with your hands up. I'm going to get you. I guess they're... Oh, there we go. Thankfully, it targets with its, uh, its eagle eye vision here. A mama rabbit. Gotcha. Chompity chomp chomp. She was almost too big to carry. But not too big enough to eat. <laughs> uh oh. Stop just let it go. I was a shark. Oh Tree Sharks, the number one danger in, in Pacific Northwest. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh my god, guys. This is amazing. I'm a tree shark. I've always wanted to be one of these. Ever since I was a little kid, a little girl, the age of nine, I almost got hit by a car. Into the ocean. Now, <laughs> hungrier than ever. What the heck? I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get that seal. I'm gonna get him. Is it a seal? I think it might be. Either that or a smaller shark. Either way, I'm still hungry because my mom didn't feed me. Therefore, I'm destroying the ecosystem around us. Tree sharks and all. Come on. There we go. Gonna take you. Gonna bite ya. What the heck? Oh my god. This is creepy. Like, legitimately creepy just because of it being a girl, in my opinion. Okay, so we tore off its fin, but it's still getting away? Interesting. Oh, I almost got him. Oh. Come on. There we go. Can't escape me now. Juicy fat seal. Everything had changed. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm an octopus now that wants crow? Is that what's going on? What the heck is this, man? This is so weird. Oh. What am I supposed to get? Am I supposed to get the car? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay, I just have to extend my arm yeah, as far as I can. And I, smelled people everywhere. I was a monster. So I just have to eat people now? <laughs> All right. I guess we're going for it. This is how uh, Molly Finch was a, a mass murderer. She turned into a, a kraken. Just devoured yeah, all the sea sailors. Real quiet. Give me that leg, boy. I want that. Give me that. 
What the heck is this? I was not expecting this at all. This is so weird. I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. Yeah, never stop. You're, you got the blood rage, Molly. You gotta destroy them all. Kill the non-believers. Kill them all. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What? Eat them in the morning. <laughs> this is nuts. I wonder if I can take a pro. I can't. Okay. Up. Oh, back it up. Up, up, up. Last one left is the captain here. Hey there, captain. I'm gonna just touch you a little bit here. Just a little bit. Does he see me? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Okay. What am I gonna be now? Oh, I'm still the still the octopus thing. Can I see myself? Oh, I'm just an arm. I thought I was like a the arm of an octopus, just like slithering around. But I'm just that arm. Okay. Well, what's next on the menu? I'm still hungry. I'm a hungry little girl. I, I need to grow big and strong someday. So therefore, I need to consume anything in my way, including people. No! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them where they least expect it, right in the booty hole. That's a, that's a big fear of a lot of people. Is snakes coming out of the, uh, the plumbing like that? I don't know if that's an actual thing. There's been stories of that happening. I don't know if that's... Actually, you know what? There was one confirmed time where a guy actually got bit in the butt by a huge snake that went in through the pipes. All of my stomach started growling. Okay. Oh, am I going to eat myself as Molly? And suddenly, I was me again. Oh. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. Uh-oh. But it's not going to wait much longer. Just eat it first. Just look under your bed and chomp down on it. I mean, you're still a hungry girl. You got it. You got it in the bag. That was weird. That was a kooky ride. What the heck? <laughs> all right. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. There we go. There's that. I got oh, and that's her. Since Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. I'm still confused on what the deal is with this house. And I just heard the cat out there. Hey, cat. Am I going to turn into a cat now? Oh, or not. Okay. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would yeah, have, it... but mom didn't like bringing up the past. How is that so, a when past we story, a though? Stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie. He had named the cat Molly. Or she did. I mean, when Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Dragon. She could have, but she didn't. Okay, so he was a construction worker making a slide. Even in her nineties. Sometimes he died from it. A lot younger than my mother. Oh, shag carpeting. Very nice. Wow. All right. What do we got in here? Anything I can interact with? Guess not. The hey, Roblox. Sam's first wife, Kayla, this uh, this Roblox, guys. Bathroom. This is a family-friendly game. I didn't realize. Okay. Perfect. It was a pretty big trace. There's a secret in this bathroom, by Sven and Eddie, Edie Finch. So they were authors as well. Unless this is going to be a pull door as well, and not an actual book. Secret in this bathroom. Oh. Pull the tab. The last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is like a Scooby Doo house, you guys. This is straight up Scooby Doo right now. This is crazy. Okay. So what were they doing back here? Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. It's like a red room type of thing. Okay. Either that or a, what I believe to be a murder dungeon where they sealed in all the kids and gassed them. Made them think there were cats and stuff. I don't know. My nose is itchy. 
like got cat hair in it or something. Spooky, I know. <laughs> From the game. So we have a bunch of random toys. Okay. Is this the, uh... Oh god, I already forgot his name. Something with a G? Something with a J? It's Sam. His name is Sam. Okay. Let's touch this. Maybe that's just the name of his, uh... Had a twin. Okay. So and it is Sam. Never talked about him. Commands. This is an awesome room. Any more than my mom did. I would have loved this when I was a kid. Holy crap. Even now. Okay. So Calvin and Sam, twin brothers. Straight up, I have straight up cat hair in my nose now. That's really creepy. By Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. I have a broken foot, just like uh, Edith had a broken hand at the very beginning. Okay. Oh, I got a swing. All right, time to swing, guys. My brother said he died <sighs> before he ate another mushroom, and he did. All of these kids. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. Can I twist it? Can I do a little spin move? Guess not. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Okay, so all these kids had such big imaginations that it killed them or something? All right, mom. Just hold on. I need to jump off this cliff here. What's running next to me? I told him going around was impossible. Oh, I'm trying to go around the tree. Okay. Maybe if I hadn't said that. So I'm trying to swing around this tree, but it's gonna break off, and I'm gonna fly probably into the, uh, the sea. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh my god. Oh my god, this would be terrifying in VR. That's crazy. I think I might have tried this one time when I was a kid, trying to swing around, but I could never get high enough, obviously. Oh, that's I can like feel that in my stomach. That's weird. Oh my god. I'm gonna make it guys. Here we go. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We did it. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna get shorter and it's gonna wrap around. Oh Okay. Am I gonna be a I didn't turn into a bird or anything, I'm just dead. <laughs> well, I guess he was not an anamorph. Calvin's Mark that one off the list. Familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Jesus. All these kids, man. Dying from their own imagination. That's insane. All right, well. After the funeral. Let's go check out the next dead kid. Calvin's house, the room. Can I just open the door like this? Probably not. No, I can't. It's got to be another secret passage somewhere. Maybe right here. Hidden. Behind the books. This place is... It's straight up Scooby-Doo. These people were insane architects. Okay, there we go. And up or down or... There we go, just up. This would be a very dangerous place for kids to live. All these secret passages and stuff. A lot of places for kids to get stuck if they don't die from their own imagination first. They'd obviously been built for oh, smaller hands heck? and bellies. All right, well, we can go that way. I want to check this out first, though. That's creepy. Milton. Ooh, ooh, there was a Bigfoot. Ooh. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. She was a movie star? The heck? A lot of diversity in this family. But everyone's dead, I never so about whatever. How hard it must have been for her afterwards. Okay. All right. Where's her her death story now? In the pie. Happy birthday, Barbara. Um, I guess she smoked as a kid. Interesting. Dreadful stories. Guest starring Barbara Finch. All the stories people wrote about Barbara's death. I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh wait, no, she was a child star, and then she. Got less popular, I guess, maybe, over the years. That's probably oh, what happened. Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate... Uh, oh, Jack here. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. I like that voice actor. Of Barbara Finch. Child star. Barbara was famous for her scream. 
That's a good scream. Well, Top notch quality. She was all washed up. I has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. <laughs> I think you just need the right motivation. Oh, poor, Her poor Barbara. Fan and current boyfriend. The right motivation. That's a creepy thing to say. When now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency oh, geez. room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing <laughs> frustration, but <laughs> I'm not hearing terror. <laughs> what the heck? I tried. A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing orcas. Oh my god. Police are urging residents to. Bamboozled! Get again! You're right! Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because Everything is locked here, man. Puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks. Oh, so it was a key. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. 20 minutes later, Rick but I already hadn't returned. I already popped it so out, I thought. Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Oh, I'm controlling it. Oh, geez. Okay. Suspense. She found it's suspenseful. Scratch and imagine the worst. All right. Attempt for me to kick some zombie butt and do a horrible scream as well. The gang's leader is the oh. infamous hookman killer, Dr. Carl I don't like that thing. Screw that. These are these are really creepy. Can I trade out for a saw? That's a little bit of an upgrade in my opinion. Ah, yeah. Practice swings. Okay. Boyfriend! Oh. Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Why does everybody I'm have not casks on? Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and <sighs> she threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. The crutch? Barb, have you seen my other crutch? Nah. And she was still You mean my crutch. When she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. There's a lot of a lot of kids dying in these uh, in these stories, so just just be careful about your wording, okay? You don't wanna you don't wanna kill a little kid, another one. Oh, that's Okay, this is not home alone, Walter. You can't just kill me with a rolling skate down the stairs. You gotta at least get some thumbtacks, gumballs, a heating iron, and I don't know, a bucket of paint or something? I don't know what all he does. Walter, are you there? Okay. Oh my god. I love how stereotypical this story is right now. And he's rusty hook. I returned, saw the hook man, and was smashed. <gasps> he was quite smashing. He was smashing? Like, handsome? Is that what? What? He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay. 
Oh my god, screw this thing. <laughs> uh, maybe the window. Can we get out the window? Nope, guess not. Okay, oh, secret passage. There we are. She played her part beautifully. Okay, so now we're back in Molly's room. What do I need to do now? Do I need to go out there and, and hit him over the head with a crutch? Let's do it. Time to get him. Hey, Huck boy, take that! C crack! Oh, maybe the, the Home Alone trap worked! Ha ha! Gotcha. Time to go down there and finish him off. Can I go a little bit faster than this? <laughs> or do I just leave? Do I go for him or do I leave? How about we leave Walt behind? Time to, time to go home. Okay, guess we can't. Guess we gotta kill him. Just slowly stab him, impale him with a crutch. Beat him on the ground, senseless. Okay, he's gone. Had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... Oh God. Ding dong. Time to actually open the door this time. All right. There better not be any hook man out there. If there is, I'm gonna wail on you until you can't breathe. Inside the house. Dun dun dun! Oh god. Oh, there's two guys. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> She's totally lost her her scream. Oh. So I, I wailed on a friend. Is that what just happened? I'm, I'm sorry. She sorry, what Toby. Kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was oh. Going to oh, they were actual monsters. Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. Her last scream, actually good one. It's a pretty good one. Too bad it was her last. So did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. Interesting. That little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. That little crumb bum. pretty hard, but that's another story. Well, he saw his sister get eaten alive by monsters. Is all they ever found of her. A real eerie tale. <laughs> Perfect. Great job. He nailed it. He nailed the last bit. All right. Well, that was uh, that was creepy. Very <laughs> good. Mark another one off the list of our of our hit list. As absurd as that comment So we have was. Sam, Walter, and Odin. Maybe what Edie saw was Gregory, happy Gregory, Gus, ending. Lewis, Milton. All right. A lot of more people to die. A lot of more people. Um, I think that I'm going to leave that episode there, though, for you guys. Um, and see what we got next time. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm burying myself alive. Real quick. I guess so now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Yep. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to leave that episode there. This game is very, very interesting. Very kooky. And uh, it's got, like, kind of tragedy I think I'm not sure if it's tragedy or not it's almost like it's like I don't know the emotion that should be there should be like fear and sadness but it doesn't seem like it's there so it's almost kind of like comedic in a way I don't know it's very interesting it's I want to play this through so if you guys enjoyed leave me a like and a comment down below and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one and more in the future I'll see you in the next one and remember to keep having fun bye bye